you guys so we're gonna be doing a pregnancy q a and let's get down to these questions because they are so juicy <laughs> i literally just ate you guys oh my gosh so please pardon me in case if i end up bopping too much in today's video because i'm just coming from upstairs i ate dinner so i asked you guys on my um youtube and instagram to please send in any pregnancy or any what is it called yeah any questions you have for me regarding pregnancy and i received a ton of like a ton of um comments a ton of questions from you guys so that's what we're going to be doing today i have all the questions on my phone let me go ahead and get them okay so i got this question what is your biggest fear in pregnancy i would say my my biggest fear has always been because of my experience with miscarriage right when i got pregnant again i was kind of scared during the first trimester and then the next um kind of fear i wouldn't say would i say fear it's just kind of concern i have is labor you know no woman knows how her labor is going to be so it's kind of a concern of mine i wouldn't say it's a fear but it's more like a concern all right so what are the things you wish you know before getting pregnant and raising kids to be honest you guys i feel like you don't like you can never be ready when it comes to having kids like if you just if you feel like you're ready to have kids that you know you're married and you're ready to have kids just go ahead and have them kids you guys because once they start coming everything automatically involves them in your video you said you started to feel unwell what were you feeling i guess that should be for the first trimester because my first trimester was was a mess you guys it wasn't easy at all it started with me peeing a lot like I just started peeing too much. I was like, what's going on? Why am I peeing too much? And then I started kind of running temperature. And then my boobies, you know, they started to hurt. But the one that really got me thinking that I had to go to the hospital was when I started being so sensitive to smell. Like any little thing. When I passed the 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 hallway, there's I have fragrances around my house. So Whenever I was passing the hallway, the fragrance, the air wick I had on the wall would always spray. And when it sprays, you guys, it's as if I'm literally dying from the smell. Like I couldn't stand smell. Can I guess that you're having a boy? You have a very different glow and shine. Um, another question. Do you know what sex you're having? Another question. Do you know the sex of the baby yet? If you don't, what do you think you're having? I have a feeling that it is a boy. This is three questions. So I, I got a lot of these questions, you guys. And yes, we know what we are having. And we are probably going to do a gender reveal. If we don't do a gender reveal, we're definitely going to film the labor and delivery for you guys. So you guys are going to know the sex of the baby. I know this is TMI, but I'm also a mom. I'm pregnant and find sex not that interesting while pregnant. Is your sex drive still the same as before pregnancy? The first trimester, like my whole system was disorganized. I couldn't even kind of carry myself, talk more of thinking of sex. But the second trimester, my body was just like normal. Everything came back to normal, normal sex, you know, everything. And then the third trimester, this third trimester now, like I feel so heavy. Once you have the baby, everything comes back to normal because I know it happens to me with the twins. Is your mom coming for a mobile? If not, how will you cope? I don't even know what's going on with this corona thing and the thing is really really affecting us because my mom uh, we had applied for my mom to come right and she wasn't able to get the visa and we started the process again i just pray that before my due date that they will open up the state but the country but the problem is even with opening up the country it's not like she already has the visa that once they open up the country you will just fly her in we still we're still in the visa process so i was like since my mother couldn't make it for the twins that you know this would be my chance to have omogo because i never experienced anything like omogo you know when i had the tw the twins it was only my mother-in-law that took care of me but she was also working so it was only during the weekend that she could help but you guys know that she, she recently passed away i don't even know how we are going to do it because we're going to have the girls and then we're gonna have the newborn and my husband and myself 
I guess God will make a way guys. Those prenatal vitamins you showed us, I can't find them on Amazon. Please share the link. The prenatal vitamins I shared um, with you guys is actually from CVS. It's a CVS brand. So if you have CVS wherever you live, just walk down to their, um, to their store. You will see the prenatal vitamins. I've forgotten the name, but I'm definitely going to leave it in my description box. Those prenatal vitamins, they are amazing. No smell. You know how some prenatal vitamins, even you taking them, it, it can upset your stomach. But this one, no smell. It tastes, it tastes, it tastes so good. And also, I started taking my prenatal vitamins. I think three months before I conceived. So I would say they really help. You know, if you're trying to conceive, try and take your prenatal vitamin maybe three or two months earlier before you start trying because it will help a lot. How do you deal with mood swings during pregnancy? I would say I, I haven't really had any much mood swings, you guys. I know I had few with my first trimester, but something that I always did was I would just wake up. Whenever I wake up and I feel like I have, like that day is definitely going to be a bad day in terms of like how I feel and everything. I would just tell hubby, babe, I feel kind of sad and I feel like I'm having mood swings, please. In case if I lash out on you or something like that, please don't feel sad. Like, that's, I normally tell him, like, whenever, it still happens to me even up to date, you know. Sometimes I wake up and I just feel angry. I know I'm angry, but I don't know the reason I'm angry. Like, everybody that talks to me and, like, I would just feel agitated, you know. And whenever I, once I wake up and I start feeling like that, even sometimes when I don't tell him, right. Because my husband, he's always in his office. I'm always the last person to wake up these days so when i wake up i always walk straight to his office before i get to the kitchen because once i wake up from bed i'm heading straight to the kitchen so when i see him once once i don't say nothing to him he knows there is a problem they are like i'm already in my mood swing so he will just let me be and then probably when he feels like okay he can come and talk to me he will be like hey babe i noticed your 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 mood swings but please don't take it out on me. And by the time he just starts saying all these jokes, right? I will just start laughing and I will know he already knows that I'm, I'm in a bad mood. So he kind of helps a lot with um, lightening my mood off. But for mood swings, of course, I still get mood, mood swings once in a while. Will you do a gender reveal? I guess so. Will you be having a baby shower? Yes, we're going to be having a baby shower and I'm definitely going to film that. What was the twins' reaction when they found out? Oh my gosh, the twins were so, 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 so happy, guys. They were so happy because this is something they've been expecting for so long. I think the twins started asking for a baby when they turned, I think, two plus or three. So, and they are seven now, so you can imagine. It's been like four years since they've been asking me, Mommy, Mommy, when are we going to have a, a, a baby sister, a baby brother? They would always ask. So finally, when they found found out, oh my gosh, they were so, 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 so happy. And it's crazy because throughout this pregnancy, I've been experiencing every single step of the way with them. As from March, this corona craziness started. So all throughout my pregnancy, they are, they've been experiencing it with me. They've just been so happy. They wake up every morning. First thing they do is to come to, to our room. Of course, I'm always sleeping. All I can see is them touching my stomach and talk, talking to the baby and then before they go to bed they always come to our room and talk to the baby rub my stomach so they've really been so happy about this baby what are your top pregnancy glow products highlights <laughs> i would say that's it what other pregnancy glow and my um neutrogena body oil that's all i use before i'm always very very skeptical of like glowy makeup or shiny makeup but one thing i've noticed throughout this my pregnancy is i've just been in the mood for some highlighters and some glow and you know when you apply highlights and glow on your face it just it just makes you look so glowy and so shiny and you know it makes you look really really good so I just started I just stopped being scared of highlighters you guys as you all can see do you get pregnancy acne of course two weeks ago was a, a, a living hell for me you guys I was just looking at myself on the mirror why was it two days ago I was like what's going on like all my acne disappeared right and even the dark spots are disappearing but 
it happens all the time and probably after a few days or i would say or i would say one week after it would all start again what was your first symptom going to the bathroom peeing a lot i just started peeing like i would pee before i go to our bedroom and stay for five minutes i would need to go pee again like i was like what's going on am i coming down with diabetics because it was just too much i'd say i would say I used to pee every, maybe every 10 minutes, I was like, mm -mm, this, this is, this is too much. Now, I actually started getting concerned because it was, it just started getting too much. How uncomfortable can pregnancy be? Oh, first trimester is always very, very uncomfortable because your body is changing. I, I knew I had a lot of fever, you know, oh my gosh, the fever was just so so much it can be really really uncomfortable during your first trimester the first trimester is always the problem you guys is like you feel like they should just exchange your system or your body with another person i spat a lot for this pregnancy you guys i was even carrying um, um a, a cup i was carrying a cup a scented cup but surprisingly i think after 12 weeks after three months it stopped like it ceased my body became normal like up to today i still feel very good the only thing now with the third trimester is you just start feeling kind of sluggish you know the bomb the baby is getting bigger and bigger and, and bigger every week so it's like you know you start feeling the weight of the baby you start feeling sluggish were you nervous for the first trimester after a, your experience with a miscarriage seriously it was only god because I don't know in as much as you were in like you're not wishing for the worst right but it was kind of a roller coaster because I don't want to kind of embrace the pregnancy in case if something happens so it won't really hit me that bad so the first trimester it was as if I was kind of tiptoeing with the pregnancy you know it wasn't easy at all because you didn't know what to expect sometimes I'll be sitting I will start having serious cramps like as if my period was coming and then I have to run to the bathroom to go check myself and there won't be anything so it was just it was just a roller coaster you guys but my husband he would always back me up with prayers and you know he would always share the word with me and tell me you know kind of an affirmation that what whatever God wants to happen is gonna happen if the baby is here to stay the baby is gonna stay so you know with those words words of affirmation it just helped uh, a lot you know it was as if each week I get more settled each week I get more settled if you've ever experienced a miscarriage you know when whenever you get pregnant again it's normally not an easy road at all you're always you know kind of keeping your fingers crossed and believing God that that one is gonna stay do you have any weird cravings? Does your fashion sense, besides the size, change as our body tends to expand beautifully and makeup style change according to your pregnancy trimester? Hmm. Do you have any weird cravings? With my second trimester, I started to crave for some kind of, um, they call it Unzu and Uola in Nigeria. What is it called here? kind of mud there is this edible mud we used to eat back home right once i'm done brushing my teeth the next thing i start to perceive and feel like i want to eat is that um edible clay yes they call it edible edible clay i would always find myself craving for that and i remember i ate that particular clay a lot during the twins and um, pregnancy and the thing affected my blood count i was literally anemic by the, before i went into labor with the twins so you know i knew that is a no-no. I can't even try that. Does your fashion sense, beside the size, change as our body tends to expand beautifully? I would say my fashion sense is still the same, you guys. Nothing changed. The only thing is, I told myself I wasn't investing in maternity outfits, you know, for this pregnancy. So, a lot of you suggested that I start wearing hobbies, clothes. The majority of you guys said I should just start wearing his t-shirts and that's all I've been wearing and it's been helping and then you know few of my clothes that can still fit and then she says um makeup style change according to your pregnancy trimester i would say for this pregnancy i've been more into natural looks and glowy looks normally you guys know me i'm the queen of matte looks i love my dry matte 
finishes you know but for this pregnancy i've really been into kind of some glowy looks i love me some natural glowy looks so as you all can see we are glowing right now it just makes you look so healthy have you been having any food cravings during your pregnancy of course i have like i've been craving for a lot of things like um insala soup that is white soup i crave for this pregnancy i would say one major food I've always craved for, craved for is um, unripe plantain porridge. Like I have it all day, every day. I have a f a full um, bowl of it in my freezer right now with with um, with the uh, catfish, fresh catfish. That's one food I know I crave all the time. So I make sure I have that in my freezer. But when it comes to cravings, of course I've been craving for. You know a lot of things like last night i was sleeping and i woke up around i would say 2 30 i couldn't sleep again till i think 3 15. i just found out i was crazy i was craving for some popcorn so i woke hubby up i told him i was craving for popcorn so he had to go get me popcorn and water and i just sat there i ate my popcorn and my water and then when i was done it was already kind of around after four or something would you Consider your morning sickness severe or mild. I love you. I love you too. Thank you so much for the question. Um, I would consider my um, morning sickness more like mild. I would say the, the twins was severe for me, you guys. So this one is definitely mild. I would say it's more, it's more on the mild side than the severe side. Hold on. Oh my gosh, my throat, my throat is so dry. And yes, yeah guys, I think this is all there is to this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And this is kind of something I wish for every woman to experience. Like it's such a special moment. It's such a special time in every woman's life. And I'm just so grateful that I have you guys to share this moment with. And I'm so grateful I have my family to share you know this moment with but yeah you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already oh my gosh my leg Ooh. wait 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 oh ooh, 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 ooh. i can't i can't feel nothing on this leg no more oh my gosh oh my gosh ooh, 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 ooh. this is so even swell wow oh jesus who sent me come who sent me message i'm so used to sitting with one leg in and one leg out and i completely oh who sent me walk oh jesus like this leg i can't feel nothing on it oh jesus who But yeah, you guys, till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.